Hello everyone, Dan here, Surf ET. So I just got some people who are gonna walk through what they're gonna have to go through in the event that we have a situation. So, this door right here, for, everybody's gotta keep looking now, we're not gonna understand this. So right here, there's a, you gotta come up please. So if everybody just puts their hand there and feels that one little wire, so you pull on that and the door will open up. So make sure you know how to do that. So pull on it, Mary, and then open it up. And then when you go in here, this right here is where you hold on to. And then you step right here. Don't worry about anything else. It's okay to step there, okay? And when you do this, these doors, you slam them shut. Otherwise, water, if it does go through right, if we get the water, the water will go through here and we'll get wet feet, dude. We don't like wet feet. And then in the back, So I'll have somebody lift this open right here so you know how hard it is. It's kind of hard to lift, a little bit easier in the back than it is in the front. And this back opens up the same way as the front. So lift down, open up the wire, and come through. This is a little bit more tricky to get in. <laughs> um, I always just grab here and then I put one foot here and grab up on top. The one thing I would ask is when you shut this, see how the chains are starting to hit right here in this, that, this gasket? Hold the chains like this, and then this window can be open if it gets too hot back there, but there'll be times I will say this must be closed. I would suggest listening to me. And because if water comes in through here, it's not pleasant. Right up there in the very left-hand side, there's a little red thing there, that dial. There's a heater that's on right now in the back. You can turn that to the left all the way down and it'll shut that thing off. And top here, when you're sitting here, you'll be sitting on this. You'll grab a hold of these handles right here and hold on when I tell you to. Okay, that's it. Uh, the other thing here, well, one more things, a couple more things. So, Right here, so if I die, this is what shuts it off. So there's one main key right here, that shuts it off, and then the, this shuts off all the auxiliary power, and this is an emergency kill switch, so if you pull that, it'll shut off. Does anybody know how to run a right manual transmission? So this is just like a manual transmission. I think we walked through that already, right? We're good? That's it. Do you know what his name is? Yep, Fido. Fido! I don't see him. He's by the
pretty close to breaking through right now. You can see the water coming up through the hole. <laughs> Here's some ice shoves that happen to be out in the lake. It usually happens when there's a dramatic change in depth. Uh, right here, I think the water is probably only about a foot thick. Um, that ice shove, my guess is the max height from the top of the ice is maybe five, six feet tall. I would have went actually right over the, the steeper part but I just didn't want to break through with the wheels and then get hung up on the middle. That would have been quite embarrassing. So typically what I do with things like this is go up slowly, uh, move up a little ways, and then I back up, and then I can see the tracks, and I can find out how much the wheels uh, did or did not break through with whatever it is, and it just makes me feel a little bit more comfortable, and then I'll continue on. That's what I did here. Didn't really see a lot. But again, you just don't like to take the chance. I wish I would have had another shirt with me, or honestly, if I had some ice uh, anchors with me, I would have felt a lot better too, where I could have just pulled myself out with a come along if I needed to. I wish the camera would capture some of those angles a little bit more. That's not radical, but believe it or not, it's a lot more than what you actually think it is.
Mary's doing her thing. She's gonna go some drinks. Can I go up there? We got his wall though, way the heck up there. Looks like a He-Man. That is so cool. No, I can't. Well, that pretty much concludes our day. Like always, when I do usually stop, somebody comes over and wants to understand a little bit more about the Sherp, and I'm more than happy to talk to them about it, so I gave them a quick little overview. Uh, got some new people out on the ice for their first time. That was pretty exciting. I think they enjoyed that. I enjoy taking people out for the first time in a Sherp as much as they probably enjoy going out, so I look forward to taking more people out in the future, and we'll kind of go from there. Appreciate everybody subscribing, means a lot. Thanks for the likes, thanks for the comments. Helps me understand if this is really a worthwhile cause and I'm doing stuff that people actually enjoy. So, again, thank you very much. Hopefully, talk to you next time. Take care, bye bye.